<laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to The Power of Practice. This is episode number 17, and on today's show, we'll be talking about how to rewire your chronic pain pattern. My guest is Deborah Wayne. Once again, thank you, everybody, for joining me for this half hour on The Power of Practice on air. I am your host. Lisa Ingalls, I'm an author, I'm a speaker and a coach, and I am the founder of Interstate Coaching, where I help visionary leaders like our guest today, Deborah Wayne, to create radical change in the world. So you can learn about me and my services by visiting me over at www.interstatecoaching.com, where and when you're there, you can also pick up a free report for my five-step practice for creating radical change. So most of you who've listened to this show before know this little spiel, but for those of you who haven't listened to this show before, viewed the show before, I'd like to sort of put up front what it is um, that I've discovered in my 20 years as a coach, and that is that it's become very clear to me that radical change, whether it's your health, your wealth, or your happiness isn't about doing certain things. Actually, it's about doing things in a certain way, which requires practice. And so in this 20-minute show, what I do is I interview guests from all across the world in a wide range of topics, from health and personal development to spirituality and business and everything in between. And I ask my guests all the same question, and that is, what one practice can you share with us today that can help to create a radical change or a radical breakthrough in health and wealth in overall happiness? And it's through these practices that you, the viewer, will gain the tools that you need to turn your stumbling blocks into stepping stones. So if you're joining us live today, please do let us know that you're here. If you have any questions or comments for our guest, Deborah Wayne, you can type those comments right into the box below uh, the video here, below the live broadcast, and we will incorporate those into our show today. So here's the thing that we know. Pain is actually a primary reason for doctor's visits and for all of the prescription medications that people buy. It's a major cause of disability in our country, in the United States, and most importantly, it's a key factor in reduced quality of life. According to the Institute of Medicine, I pulled this up, chronic pain affects about 100 million American adults every year, and more than, which is more than the total number of adults who are affected by heart disease, cancer, and diabetes combined. So pain also costs our nation up to $635 billion every year in medical tr treatments and lost productivity. So the fact of the matter is that there are these huge gaps in knowledge about pain across our current model of health of the healthcare system and in society but i believe that things really truly are changing alternative health care has started to build a reputation as a very viable and even a necessary component to the healing puzzle we know about things now like healing touch or reiki and yoga and other modalities there's research on them but what if these modalities were really just the tip of the healing iceberg? And I think that's what our guest, Deborah Wayne, would actually say to us. I don't know. We'll find out in just a moment. In this episode of The Power of Practice, my guest, Deborah Wayne, is going to help us to understand how the pain that we experience in our bodies isn't really where we think it is. Pain, she says, exists not really inside of the body at first, but in this quantum field that surrounds us. And by tuning into the information in that quantum field, we can repattern it and shift, and a health shift will occur. She'll tell us a lot more about that, and she'll also be giving us a very simple practice that we can begin to incorporate every day into our life. Now, before I formally introduce Deborah, I'm just going to give a, a little bit of her bio. She is the creator of the Pain-Free Living Program, and she's one of the country's leading health and vitality experts specializing in helping people who suffer from stress, 
chronic pain, depression, anxiety, fibromyalgia, arthritis, immune disorders, and a lot more to get help. She helps those people get their energy and their lives back on track. I think whether that's you or someone you know, I think we all know someone who suffers from one of those things. So let me welcome very warmly my guest, Deborah Wayne. It's so wonderful to have you on this show today. Thank you so much for inviting me. It is such a pleasure. You are truly awesome, and I am honored to be a guest on your show. Oh, thank you so much. And as maybe you may or may not not know, our guest um, Deborah was scheduled for about a week and a half ago. We had some major te technical difficulties that day, so we rescheduled because I had to bring you Deborah on this show. There wasn't any way I was going to let that one pass because I think what you're what you're saying is such a new paradigm. It's ancient. I think it's very ancient and we yeah. know that there's a lot of um, wisdom around what you bring as ancient knowledge, but it's new to our way of thinking in the health system. Yes, it is. It, it, it's really what's happening right now is a blending, a bringing together of the old ancient indigenous wisdom and the new science and it is our entire understanding of health and the healing process is going undergoing a huge transformation um, everything is changing and people are fed up they're frustrated they're looking for answers um, the way we're, we're treating most illness is it's just not working in a lot of cases or it's leading to unnecessary problems and side effects and just other issues that people did not ask for, want, or want to go near. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I think you have, I would love for you if you could do it in a few minutes, share a little bit of your story, maybe give us a couple minutes and then your perspective, what it is that you discovered and know about mm -hmm. pain and how you work with your clients. It's difficult to do briefly, but I'll, I'll, the, hi, the highlights are this. Somehow I landed in a family of amazing medical doctors, very high level, high, highly trained, intelligent MDs. But I was born with a knowing of certain information that was intuitive. And I knew from a very young age that some of the information I was hearing about disease and pain, I just knew it was wrong. And I also could see why people were creating their pain problems. I saw it in my own family. But I was, you know, the black sheep of the family. So the, the, the type of thinking I had was not considered accurate. Fast forward many, many years later, after many experiences, much intuitive guidance as well as outer worldly study, I have come to see that I was right as a, as a child. That there's much more than the left brain linear way of thinking and learning that we've been accustomed to. And when we tap into a whole other understanding, which is based more on physics than biology, and that's where the disconnect is, Mm -hmm. then much more is possible and pain pain is a whole different animal than we think it, it is and we stop treating symptoms and putting band-aids on symptoms and we actually get to the root cause. Yeah. Can you tell us um, a little bit more about your understanding of the origin of pain and where it actually resides and how it makes its way into our body? Yes, I'm going to say something very radical right now. I, I really firmly believe that probably 100% of pain is actually memories wow. that are imprinted in the field around the body. We, everything starts as energy. We know everything in the universe is energy and that energy never dies. And there are subtle forms of energy that we're not typically taught to tune into, to see, to hear. We know dogs, they see and hear at a level of experience that humans supposedly don't, but I believe we can learn. 
to experience a qu the quantum level, which is the invisible level, and much more information is there. And pain starts out as either thoughts or feelings or both. And it, everything that's happening, it's, it's, a, it's being recorded in the field that surrounds the body. And it starts from the subtle and moves to the, the more gross, the more dense level. So it starts first as thoughts and feelings, and then it becomes the physical. It literally becomes the physical and not the other way around. Would you say, um, I, love the, I love what you're saying. Many years ago, I went and did my continued studies in movement-based healing arts, and the basis of that work was similar, that we hold unresolved emotional conflict. It's not what you're saying, so I'm gonna, I am gonna. want to bridge this. What I learned was we hold unresolved emotional conflict in the tissues of our body, but what I hear you saying is actually one step beyond that, which is first we hold unresolved emotional conflict or those memories in a field which then somehow makes its way into the tissues of the body. Am I understanding that correctly? Yes, the field houses information. There, there have been studies, um, many studies, but since the 1980s the Russians discovered a new field that until that time had never been recognized in physics and they coined the term torsion or spin fields and they also refer to it as an information field and what their theory is saying is that this field that surrounds every living thing and including our bodies houses information and that there's a communication taking place between the field and the, the cells of the body and that this this field around us is being influenced by many things many factors but there's a constant communication. It's not in the body first, it's in the field first. That, okay, so that leads me to my next question because I find this so fascinating. There's obviously, now I'm getting into sort of the, I don't even know what it would be called, if it's even quantum physics or what, but there we live in a three-dimensional time-space reality. So hmm. there is a time delay factor that we, have uh, correct me if I'm wrong because I don't know I'm sort of asking this as a question and sort of stating it as my understanding mm -hmm. that there's a time delay between what is in our field and what we experience in our body number one I want to ask is that true that there is a time delay between that field of information and how it we how it then manifests in our body as pain I don't believe that's a black and white answer. I've, okay. I, have, I have experienced and witnessed many, many times instantaneous change. Mm. When I work in the field around the body with clients or groups, I see, feel, and experience instantaneous change many times, and, and others report that. However, I will say that the, the world we live in right now, there is there appears to be time. <laughs> You're asking a very deep question. See, there I really, know, I know. There, Sorry. There, <laughs> there really is no time. Yeah. There really isn't. It's an illusion. But at the vibrational level that we're living in, there appears to be a time lag. But that mm. depends on your consciousness also. Yeah. And it isn't a truth. It, it, it isn't, it's always like this. It just doesn't work that way. Right. So it's almost like that concept of, and now I'm getting really esoteric yeah. here, but I, I, I just have to go there for a second because <laughs> I love it. Um, so it's almost because uh, of a concept of time that you create the reality in the field that creates a... So, that delay could create, but it's not really the truth. And so, if you understand that that's not the truth, and you can—I don't even know how to put this—but move past that, you can actually have instantaneous healing. And again, I understand you're saying it's not black and white, and I am definitely no um, uh, quantum well, physicist or understand this stuff. But I love the fact that you're saying you're pointing out these very radical ways of thinking which is how we create change in our body which is ultimately how we create change in the world is where I'm getting to. 
But one of the problems with even this conversation is you're trying to explain something in a left brain linear manner mm. intellectually that is actually an experiential it's yeah. an experience and it's it I'm not sure I, I maybe someone else has better words than I but uh, because the quantum physicists do explain this but um, what we're talking about is that there's a level of reality where pain and illness don't exist. Right. And that can be experienced instantaneously, but typically people don't can't get there on their own because the very mind that created the pain patterns is what's holding it in place. Mm. And so it's hard to get outside of ourselves enough if at all. That's usually why, I mean, it can happen, and it does happen, where there's spontaneous healings for many different reasons. It's not a simple black and white answer here. But usually people are stuck in their thinking, in their head, in their left brain, trying to fix themselves with their mind to change a problem, a symptom. Yeah. And it, and it doesn't typically work. Right. Oh, I totally get it. And I can see how I I definitely am one of those people that goes right into the, the left brain because we That's all like to analyze and try to figure it out. And, right. and that might be the very thing that I hear you saying that's actually keeping us from yeah. having the experience instantaneously. And I think that's a brilliant, brilliant point, actually. Thank you, because it, it's a very difficult to discuss this. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and you're right. You just demonstrated the thought process that most people have. Well, how? How does this work? And why? And then they start try to analyze it to figure it out in order to control it. Yes. To change it. And it, it can be very challenging, especially in the initial stages when you're trying to shift your consciousness around this whole conversation. Right. This is really, I mean, I'm sure we could talk about this forever, and I want to move the discussion along within the context of this show, which is what would you suggest? I mean, here's the question. What one practice can you share with us? I mean, you do so much. Mm -hmm. What you do is so profound. Mm -hmm. um, but is there a piece that you can give to our viewers, to our listeners, that they can begin to practice to experience some of repatterning, patterning the pain pattern. I don't know how you want to say it. Yes. Re readjusting. Yeah. Definitely. I, I want to just clarify for the audience, just in case, because they may not know ex what I do. But I integrate uh, something called biofield energy healing, which works in this field around the body. It is not talking. It is a non-intellectual process. It's actually bringing in frequencies that shift the, the disturbed information that's in the field that's causing the pain patterns or the stress patterns or the dis-ease. And that can be accessed without talking. You know, and it's a skill that I've developed to feel where these disturbances are. So that is, is really what's so profound and what's changing. But along with that I've created the pain free living program because I find even that there there's a level of understanding with the left brain that can be very helpful for people to get to the root cause and to learn to maintain on their own once they are pain free and the, the practice I'm about to share with you and the audience is the number one way and the quickest way to begin to disempower these pain and stress patterns and the first most important thing is people have learned to stop feeling they, they stop feeling they go immediately into their head and start thinking and like you said a minute ago it's actually the very reason that their pain and stress and illness is stuck mm-hmm the, the power is in the present moment where there's no time and in that present moment are typically thoughts and feelings if you get quiet and still and go inside you discover there are feelings going on there are thoughts going on these are just energy thoughts and feelings are just energy but people label them as good bad right and wrong 
Mm-hmm. So they block it because they're resisting it. They, they're res- they don't want it. I make it go away. I hear it all the time. When, when you can sit and feel exactly what is going on in your body, that energy will release. Wow. And it, and it can be, it often is instantaneous. So I can walk the viewers through. Is that, would you like me to walk them yeah, through that the would, process? Yeah, that oh. would be great. Absolutely. All right. So first it's important to always remember to do this while you're sa- in a safe place sitting or lying down but not driving or using any kind of equipment. You don't want to, you never want to do it that then. And take everything off your laps and just be here with me for the next moment and exhale deeply. Just close your eyes gently if you're comfortable with that and just take a deep exhale and then a deep inhale. Followed by another deep exhale. And just Breathing comfortably now at a pace that's just right for you. No stress, no forcing, no no pushing. Just an easy, comfortable, natural breath. And I want you to begin to scan your body inside from head to toe. And notice if there's any area where you're feeling pain or any undesirable feeling. And just notice that inside yourself. You may have more than one area, so pick the one that's the loudest, that's that you're noticing the most, that jumps out at you first. And just go right to that pain. And I'd like you to just take the label and the interpretation right off of that. Don't label it anger or fear, whatever it is, sharp pain, whatever it is, just it's energy. Say this to yourself. It's just energy. It's not good, bad, right or wrong. This is just a feeling. And I'd like you to begin to experience the feeling fully. In fact, ask it to come up. And just gently breathe and feel the sensation, the pure physical sensation in your body, reminding yourself it's not good, bad, right or wrong. It's just a feeling. And stay with it. For some of you following along, it may already be gone. For others, it may be gone and move to another area. If that happens, move your awareness to the next area that's speaking to you, where you feel discomfort, dis-ease of any kind. Breathe gently, comfortably, and feel the feeling. Completely feel the feeling. Allow it to be there. Allow it to be there. It's just a feeling. Experience it as a physical sensation with no good, bad, right or wrong. And just notice what happens. As you just be with it. Breathing, allowing, noticing. For some of you, I'm sure it's gone. For others, it may move now again to a new area. Follow the trail. Remember, it's not good, bad, right or wrong. Allow it to come up. In fact, ask the pain to come up fully, every last drop. And then allow yourself to feel it without any judgment. 
just experience the pure physical sensation, the feeling in your body. And breathe. And feel. And allow. If emotions start to come up, let them flow without any judgment. They're not good, bad, right, or wrong. They're just feelings. It's just energy that actually knows how to move on its own if you allow it to be there. It's only our resistance and our judgment of it that's keeping it stuck. So allow Allow, allow. Now very slowly, take another deep breath in and out. If you're at home alone, and you can continue this practice as long as you need to. Otherwise, slowly Again, becoming more alert. Take a deep breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes and come all the way back now. Wide awake and alert. I could tell you were feeling it. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. It was really um, just a very space. I felt very spacious in yeah. that, in all of that. And there's a lot of the work that I've done and in, in, as you know the breathe run breathe the program that I've had is um, something similar where we create it reminds me of what I do so often which is asking teaching people how to create a partnership with their body and it's almost um, like you're doing the same thing but it's not your body it's just energy and it's just um, but it is your body because it's held within the energy is held within, but without judgment. And it's such a practice in and of itself to have the non-judgment and acceptance, full acceptance of whatever it is without the label. And I think that that is so beautiful and key in this practice. And if we, what if, in my mind goes to if everybody practiced this for five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night every day. Yes. And whether you're feeling something or not, because you can keep yourself energy hygiene, hygiene, mm -hmm. hygiene of your energy field, we would not need the healthcare system. You've hit the nail on the head, <laughs> sister. So here's the thing. Once you clear out enough of the, the backlog, the residue, mm -hmm. you can maintain a pure state and not let these feelings build up and the thoughts build up till, till they create disease. Mm -hmm. you can li and, and here's the tricky part. A lot of times people are not aware that there are buried, uncomfortable feelings and thoughts. They aren't aware. They're hidden underground. Mm -hmm. And so until you're still and sitting in the present moment, they rarely come up. We're very, very clever and good at disguising and distracting ourselves from ever having to feel. You, most people have spent a lifetime learning how to shove it down, de suppress and repress and deny. I, so, I totally, yeah. and I think that one of the key things that you repeated over and over again in that very simple and short practice is ask it to come up. Exactly. Invite, have right. invitation, give yourself permission and give the invitation forward right. to that energy. Please come up, right. show yourself to me. Yeah. And it's so much easier and more simple than people realize. You know, again, we're trained to expect a very complicated, long term process for healing. It does not have to be that difficult. It's been a lie that we've been taught that healing and health has to be hard. That's why I do not like the term workout, doing your workout, yeah. uh, because it's yeah. work, I don't yeah. think yeah. that that's how it should be joy. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you shared in your experience, just in a brief moment, the spaciousness you felt. You see, 
again, it's a misunderstanding, but the body is not solid. It appears to be solid, but all it is is a, vib a mass of vibration. We are spaciousness. Mm. And when you raise your consciousness to that level of spaciousness, it feels amazing there. The pain, there is no pain. It drops right out. The tricky part is that people have a lot of unconscious thoughts and feelings and programming that's been with them for lifetimes. And they don't know how to do this on their own. Or they're afraid to because they've, like I said, they've been practicing not feeling for what, 70, 80 years in many cases. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah. And so to all of a sudden just sit down and be comfortable with that, it, it's not always the case initially. But you can very easily, with a guide taking you by the hand, learn to master this skill. And then, like you suggested, practice this daily and there, there will be no plaque. There's no emotional plaque buildup. I, yeah, I love that emotional plaque. Totally. <laughs> and and that's a perfect segue, right? Below you, your uh, video is um, mm. what you'd like to share with our audience if they want to take this further and feel the the calling to learn more about the work that you do. I'll let you Absolutely. share what that is. Absolutely. I I would love to. Um, invite those of you who know you've been awake at 2 a.m. wondering like how am I going to get rid of this pain it has to stop and I don't know what to do and you know that a year two years five years down the road it, it just can't go on like this my specialty is I work with the people who are in the most urgent state of need and what I uh, am offering to um, Lisa's group here today to anyone on listening to this now or um, the recorded the replay is the first 10 people that would like to work with me personally one on one I'm offering a complimentary discovery session and that link that's on the screen below uh, will take you to there's an application process I, I wish I could but I can't help everyone so you know I really look for the most urgent cases that are ready you know a lot of people really aren't ready they're not ready and willing to, to move forward, as crazy as that sounds. Mm -hmm. So if you're one of the people that knows you're 100% ready to invest your time and your energy into moving forward and becoming pain-free, I would love to help you. I would, will take you by the hand and, and walk you step by step until you can maintain it on your own. And I want to point out um, that what Deborah is offering here is... Uh, like an amazing offer and you don't have to be with her face to face she lives in uh, Southern California but you don't you can live anywhere in the world and take advantage of what she's offering am I I'm right right so grateful you said that because I constantly forget that people don't realize I work at a distance this initial um, discovery session is actually done on the phone over um, the internet or any kind of phone line and um, any, I have clients all over the world in fact I have more clients now not in California than than in California and um, in this session we will we will number one find out we're gonna clarify what your health goals really are get very clear on what you want not what I want but what you want and then We'll also, I'll be listening at a very deep level to start to unravel that root cause that you probably aren't aware of. And we will also find the number one obstacle that's getting in your way and keeping you stuck from and why you haven't been moving forward. And then I'll be able to identify for you specific action steps. You'll leave that discovery session with specific action steps to move forward in accomplishing your health goals. And if we find it's a good fit, you and I together, then I will share with you ways that I can help you personally. And we'll go from there. And it would be my great pleasure to, to help you. Wonderful. Well, I think that that's such an amazing offer, Deborah, and very generous of you to offer it to 10 people. <laughs> so thank you so much. And I think that the work that you're doing in the world is is the evolution represents the evolution of our healthcare, and mm. I am excited 
to support you in, in the work that you're doing in the world because we need a new healthcare system and this really feels like it is a new, the new, could be the new healthcare system. Personal health, taking responsibility for our personal health. Yes, we need some professional help to get there, but eventually we can all self-sustain and yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and um, wrap up the show here. Once again, thanks so much to my guest, Deborah Wayne, for joining me today. Please do be sure that you take advantage of the offer that she has for you. Those uh, pain-free living, I wrote it down here, painfreeliving.com forward slash first 10 and get a discovery session with Deborah. So. I'm going to thank all of you viewers, all of you listeners for joining us today as well. It is my belief that each of us is absolutely capable of radical transformation, of achieving quantum breakthroughs in our health, in our wealth, in our overall happiness. It's just that sometimes we don't have the tools and resources that we need in order to do that. And that's really the mission of this show is to bring you those tools and resources so that you can turn your stumbling blocks into stepping stones. So just as a reminder, once again, you can also visit me and learn more about my coaching and my programs and services over at www.innerstatecoaching.com. You can download a free report there as well. I um, hope you all walked away with an amazing, I know I'm walking away with an amazing meditation that I can incorporate into my daily uh, uh as you call it, Deborah, uh, emotional hygiene, <laughs> emotional cleansing. Um, and I hope that you all use it on a daily basis as well. Look forward to seeing you all next week on The Power of Practice. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah.